we've had the best Saturday. That's right. And you guys saw all of our fun activities, but we're home now. And I don't know what was in the neighborhood, but it's free, free giveaway before. today. We've got porch chairs. All we're gonna clean off tomorrow and make a little project so that we can hang out there on our front porch. But then we also got this nice real wood piece. I think we're gonna take it upstairs. And then here, our neighbor was giving away a clothing rack, which I wanted to use for Depop. So all that was free. Score. Yesterday was Saturday and today is Sunday, obviously. And I didn't really start off the vlog yesterday because I was just honestly enjoying the day with Brie, but I wanted to capture it. And so we had a really awesome day yesterday. We got, um, we went out and got like coffee and matcha. I got a strawberry matcha, which was really good. We had little breakfast tacos and then we kind of just like moseyed around town and looked through these like, sorry there's a glare on my glasses, but we just kind of moseyed around cute little shops and stuff like that. And then we went to the park and did some art. Brie ended up finishing the H Crying in H Mart book, so maybe I can have them give you like their rating and review of that today. Um, but yeah, we set up the hammock and it was just so peaceful. It's like the best spot by the water, which we both like love. And we went and tried a new little restaurant and we split a burger and had fries. And then on our way back home, we found like all this stuff that people were giving away around our neighborhood for free on the side, which ends up happening like a lot. And so I found patio rocking chairs, I found a shelf, and I found a clothing rack, which, yeah, you guys know I have a Depop shop, and so I've been wanting a clothing rack to like help work on 
storing my clothes because I just like put them in my luggage to like keep them out of the way. So we found a clothing rack because I was going to go buy one. And I want to show you guys my room because you guys saw we ended up like getting into it and redecorating. And I'm so, so, so in love with my space now. And it makes me really happy because I spend so much time in here. And I want to give you guys a little tour. But today, Sunday, we're having breakfast tacos. We're cleaning the house. We're cutting Bree's hair. And we're going on a bike ride. Just all the lovely Sunday things. So I wanted to pop in and say hello since I didn't properly do that yesterday. But yeah, I'm so excited to show you guys the space. Okay, so here's the clothing rack right here. And it's right outside my office. We don't keep anything here. so And it's on wheels, which is like awesome because I can take it in and out of my office. And then here is the new space. And I'll go through everything with you guys. So I guess I'll start over here because this was here before, as you guys saw, but I just changed it. I have all my like digital cameras and stuff up there. This is a little cork board with like my vision board and just some like special memorabilia and things like that up. And then here I took off all my books and I ended up putting it on this shelf. So this is a lot more open for me to be using, which feels a lot more fresh. Um, but this is a picture of Brie and I, and then this is just something special from my grandma's passing. This sage bundle with some turmeric prayer beads, crystal, my dad gave me this little like token. And then this is just stationary stuff, all my like journals and planners and things like that. This is my gratitude and manifestation journal and it looks really pretty with the humps of hand so I just kept it out here. I have a little empowerment um, crystal bag that I got from Southern California at my old job. Another crystal and then some more stationary stuff there, special things there. A little coaster, my laptop in the same desk that we thrifted this for like I think it was like $40 or something, but in here is all my tech stuff, which is nice. And then I'll show you guys this corner. The, I still have my crystals up um, and kept that there because I like to open the windows so that they get fresh air. This is like my little yoga corner in this basket. I have a yoga blanket and then my yoga strap. Um, and then I have my little block yoga mat and then this is a really cute uh, rain music piece and it says nothing left to do with the Grateful Dead Bears but smile 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 and it's really nice For, like sound healing and things like that so I just found this little wooden um, stand and I just put it all on there so it's like off of the ground. But then you guys know this macrame is from our old apartment in Austin, Texas. And then just like a fake plant until I can get real ones. But this looks so cute up on the wall, which I'm obsessed with. The other macrame is also from our place from Austin. This whole wall actually is from our old apartment and I love repurposing things. I feel like um, it's really nice. So these two floral press frames are from Hobby Lobby. Well, everything here is from Hobby Lobby. The floral press frames and the mirrors and then also this dream catcher. So I think it looks so nice in the space and I'm obsessed with it and then over here my closet is still the same I just keep more like hoodies and winter stuff my hats and then I have this like bag rack here on the back of the door but 
This is the shelf that we found off the side of the road for free and it's real wood, which is so nice um, instead of finding like fake laminate. Um, so we just like cleaned it up and it's so freaking cute, you guys. So Bree's guitar that Bree gave me is there for me to play. And then all these things are from our old, or these three things are from our old apartment in Austin. Thrifted that Hobby Lobby World Market. And then this is from my old job in Southern California. Um, it's just like a sacred geometry piece. And then this was from like our old dining area in Austin. And I just put it up here to like add some more texture. This like fake greenery is from Hobby Lobby and it was on our old mantle in Austin, Texas. This tray we also had on our dining room and I'm just keeping like the camera that I'm filming with now. I've just been keeping it there. This is a little sage bundle I made at a very special time in my life so I always keep it with me. This sound bowl that Bree's parents got me for Christmas like two years ago I think. My books from the library things I'm currently reading. And then these are all the books that were on top of my desk before. So all the books I've read. Um, and then just like a cute little piece of cloth that I painted in SoCal with Brie and their family with some crystals and just some like special little momentums um, that remind me of really special things. And then another little placeholder for crystals and then a Palo Santo. And then down here, this bin has my bags to pack Depop orders and then my ring light, the printer, and then down here I just put my tripods. But yeah, you guys, I'm obsessed with this space and I'm so excited to feel inspired to be in here and stuff. I'll show you guys the um, rocking chairs on the patio before we leave, but we're just gonna basically clean for the morning. I'll show you guys breakfast and stuff, but yeah. What's up, y'all? What time is it? It's one, one. o'clock, even, on the dot. We're on our way to return Bree's book and then we're gonna hit the trails. Yeah, and it's so nice out today. I know, it's like the perfect, it's like 70, falls right around the corner. I uh, will show you guys the patio furniture on our way back, but what'd you think of Crying in H Mart? It was really good. I definitely recommend it. Out of five stars. For anybody, 10 out of 10. I'm, it's, it's a book that I want to buy for myself so I could have Keep it. Keep in your collection, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, definitely. But it was so good. I won't go into too much detail about it just because, like, if you want to read it. But it's, like, it's definitely good if you've experienced that type of trauma or any kind of loss or just, like, you want to read a good memoir. So Yeah, I'll link it in the description for you guys in case you want to check it out. But, yeah. We're going to go burn some tires. Burn. I know we always say that. <laughs> from for free love it we're gonna clean it all off next weekend for Labor Day weekend all right I'm making cookies yum 
Are you happy about it? But I'm gonna I, I do it for you. I'll help though. I do it just for you. You're the baker, but I'll be the baker's assistant because I can't bake, but I can at least help in okay. the way possible. <laughs> Face so don't mask judge. On. No, we don't. No. So let's try a cookie. You, you want to split one? Sure. Or you want a whole one? You yeah. want a whole one? Yeah. All right. Look how fluffy they turned out. Oh my god. They look really good. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. <laughs> oh my god. Mmm, my god. Wow. Wow. I like that they're not overly sweet. Yeah. Mmm. I'll just come back to that because it's too hard to eat it. Mm -hmm. 